ignore the vista Yo, we're back, did you miss us? Second period news At your very young school Hello, today we were at uh, Great Oaks High School And then we're, if we're playing against them But uh, here's our football team pretty much This school has the best spirit in, and it is, this school is recognized for its school spirit. Like, the, by the nation, this entire school, like, it's the most spirited by, by definition. If we had more spirit, we'd probably get more funding. These guys have a DJ because of their school spirit. It is frankly incredible. Look at that, they have a mascot. Better than our mascot. Better than our, you, better than our old mascot. <laughs> What, uh, what's the game plan? The game plan really is to, to pound the ball. You're going to see us run to the right a lot. We want to try to isolate their best player against our best players, see if he's tough as they say he is. If he is, good for him. If he's not, it's going to be a long night for Great Oak. Uh, okay. All right. All right. See you guys. What are your predictions for the score? I think by halftime, it's probably going to be like 35 to 14. And then the final, probably going to be, I'm going to say 42 to probably 21. 42 to 21. Final score, Norda Vista wins. Let's hope. Well, we know, huh? We know. We, we know. know. <laughs> Good morning, North Vista. I'm Adrian Ruby. And I'm Coral. Happy re early release Tuesday. <laughs> this Thursday will be our next college and career readiness day. Be prepared for each class period to be a bit shorter with a double fifth period. That's right, two back-to-back -back fifth periods. Your first session in fifth period will be for a college and career readiness lesson, and the second session in fifth period will be for a regular class content. We didn't get a chance to check in with Val and Peyton yesterday for Mental Health Monday, so we want to take that time today because mental health matters every day. Let's see what message they have to help us get through this week. Hey, Novi! This is Val. And this is Peyton. We're, we're Mental Health Mondays. Mondays. Okay, so today we're going to go a little off script and we're going to talk more like a Monday recap because we know that this past week has been a little stressful because of homecoming and like involvement in the skit and however many booths you had to run because of however many clubs you're in. And then most of all, the grading period because we all know that's stressful. 
Yeah, so first of all, we wanted to talk about like, let's say just HOKO involvement. So like, let's say if you're in multiple clubs, you have to run multiple booths. If you're going to be a part of this year's skit, you're doing skit. And let's say like, aside from all of that, you also have to do the like bare minimum of like, if you are going to HOKO, like finding a dress or suit, whatever you're wearing, and then like a game. And if you're involved in multiple clubs, you probably have multiple opportunities to probably be showcased on um, at halftime for homecoming, like being one of the representatives. So also, we want to say thank you to the people who are overly involved and we're proud of you but also to you need to give yourself a break even if you're like outside of that a student athlete or something and we could start recap on grading period uh, for grading period we know just for like even IB students AP students it's probably like a lot of tests and it's a lot of, and it's very stressful especially because they're weighted classes so your GPA like definitely differs a lot based on the grade that you have in that class and then also, if you are heavily involved in things outside of just AP and IP classes, where you're in a club or you're in a sport, it is very stressful to maintain all of that all together. So like Valerie said, like you do really need to take that moment and take a breather to yourself. Like, give yourself a break. Yeah, and then... Um... Oh, if you're not involved, okay. Oh, yeah. Homecoming probably wasn't important to you or it probably wasn't like overly exciting or like overhyped if you're not involved. Like I get it, there's those kids that like go to your like your sixth classes or whatever classes you have, that's good. But you should also get involved, like I'm not saying you have to sign up for a club, which would, it would be good, but if like you wanna come to the carnival, come to the carnival, come to the games, like why not? Because then, yeah, like, especially if you're like a senior or an upperclassman, like, we only have four years. Four years is four years, you know? But just get involved. You don't have to overly do it because I know there's some kids that can't, and that's completely fine. Just get involved. And if you're too involved, remind yourself you need, like, a time of where you can do something where you enjoy it. Like, just a relaxation type of, like, yeah, you, you know? Your, <laughs> you need your own time. You can't just revolve yourself around school. And even, and if you're not involved, like, it really does help you, like, just becoming a part of one little club that, even just like a class that, like film, even just becoming a part of that, it can help you feel more connected to those yeah. who are just going to like a football game, a soccer game, like a basketball game, any of those games, like it can help you feel more involved. Yeah, you really build a family amongst like a small club, it's class, a group. Yeah, so just like build your roots before you have to leave, you know? Mm -hmm. So on that note, we're gonna end off. Thank you, Novi. Thank you, Valen Payton. Are you interested in an exciting career in the Navy? A Navy recruiter is going to be here this Friday, September 27th. Sign up today if you're interested. Attention seniors like you, do you need help applying for four-year colleges, universities, or community colleges? Do you need help with your personal insight questions? Sign up for a College Connection Wednesday workshop today. Sign up in the guidance office and see your counselor with any questions. Attention all students wanting to work the polls in November. The last day for submission of applications is Friday, September 27th. See Ms. Bush in room 112 if you have any questions. National Honor Society meets today during both lunches in room 108. All are welcome. See you there. If you're interested in creating a t-shirt design for the robotics club and winning a $50 gift card, remember to see Ms. Dembo as soon as possible in room 609. This Friday is the deadline to submit your t-shirt design to the robotic club. Any girls interested in playing soccer this year, your tryouts will be tomorrow through Friday after school. And girls water polo tryouts will also be held tomorrow from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. See Coach Ballard if you would like to try out. You must have the physical uploaded to athleticclearance.com and be cleared in order to get in the pool. The team is looking to add 10 to 15 more girls to our program. So if you're not joined in a winter sport yet, come give water polo a try. As always, if you can't swim, Coach Ballard will literally teach you how to swim. What an awesome opportunity to learn an important life skill and try something new that you may love. Be sure to get your sports physicals ahead of time. Talk to Bursky in room 203 with any questions about this. Our boys water polo team faces off against Patriot here at, at Novi today. Come cheer them on by the pool after school. And girls tennis also has a match today against Patriot here at Novi. Good luck to our girls golf team and our girls volleyball teams all playing away games today. Have you had a chance to check out the Bullseye yet? Isn't that the, new, the yearbook's new news blog? That's right, the Bullseye features news stories and photos at sports of sports at Novi events, on campus, community stories, and even stories from pop culture. They even take recommendations on the story that our students want to see covered. Be sure to check out the Bullseye today and check back often for great news stories and photos. 
We have another great Saturday Academy coming up this weekend. Some of the available classes and sessions include credit recovery and attendance recovery, football practice and training, physical fitness with Mr. Andiola, film production and Miss Luther and NTV, agriculture, yearbook with Mr. Nelson, drama production, special projects with Miss Beer, gardening, plant and soil with Mr. Nguyen, math intervention support, general tutoring and homework help, art with Miss Fitz, test makeups and community service. Scan the QR code now to sign up and secure a spot. Well, that's all for today, Novi. Remember to stay safe, stay positive, and most importantly, stay, stay brave. brave.